Okay, let's uh, do this one. Um, so we were talking about uh, things that will form stable hemiacetals. So what are the types of molecules, if they can form a what, will be a stable hemiacetal? Five or six membered ring. Five or six membered ring, okay? So I want you guys to always remember that. So what you'll see is that you've got either, you know, carbonyl carbon, and an oxygen, an alcohol oxygen, either one, two, three, four, five, six atoms away from each other, or five atoms away from each other. This one actually is going to make a six member ring. Okay, so very, very stable, five and six member ring. So remember, hemiacetals are unstable. So this gives them that extra stability that they need to form. Okay, so the first step, we've got an acid here, is going to be the acid base reaction. Always, guys. Okay. Very fast reaction. Okay, once you get that, super electrophile. You see that? Super electrophile. It's going to hit itself in the face, right? Bam. So remember, we also have the water out here. Why did it not attack? Because it's not as fast, right? It's easier to, you know, do an in, intramolecular, in, intramolecular reaction. So now we're going to um, make that. Well, in this case, it's going to be a stereocenter, but you're going to get both of the isomers. Okay, and if you're having trouble, here, let me put that hydrogen. If you're having trouble making these rings, put numbers on them, okay? We'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So carbon to carbon is one. Oxygen is six, three, four, five, six. Okay. okay, and not the last step, of course, because you're not going to isolate this protonated intermediate. Now that water molecule. Come over and give you the product which I'll draw in a different confirmation, just for fun. What kind of molecule is that? What is it? What, what, do, what do you think I mean? What are we making, guys? Oh, it's a hemiacetal. You guys are insane. 